Crime Fighters now continues with the story of the stolen baby. That uh, it's not the mother. That this baby is her senior sister's baby, and her senior sister is very sick in hospital, so she has been taking care of the baby. She said, "Well, maybe it's not the best time to have brought the baby to you. We're in labor, having pains. You have been nursed. Are you nursing a baby now?" Well, that went on like that. The primary aim then was to nurse her and make sure she has a normal delivery. Well, according to the, the nurse of duty, the process continued, of monitoring continued until when she was about to close. So she went to the woman and said, Madam, I'm about to go. That's, uh, sooner or later, somebody will come and take her. That was when she called her again and said, Please, this baby, I'm having. I want to adopt it. Ah, I want to adopt it. Say, you want to adopt what? Adoption. Is your husband aware of it? She said no. So the nurse became uncomfortable. However, when she was, when the morning nurse arrived and came to take over, she handed over both the woman in labor. This is she, the baby. Right? The baby that was brought into the hospital, and of course, let her know too that. This case is somehow, look at what I've seen and experienced. But please, make sure that immediately the management comes in, you let them know what's on the ground. I came to work that morning. The, the nurse who was monitoring her then came to me and told me that we have a labor case. She's doing well, but something uh, is happening, that there's a baby with her, and from the stories, that she has said, we cannot, we feel something fishy is happening. I say, is that so? She said, yes. I say, okay. I say, no problem. Just my, uh, let her be properly monitored. I will uh, we'll, we'll keep proper surveillance, but let us get the primary goal of letting her have a stressless delivery, bouncing baby, and a strong mother. Eventually, around them, um, 11 a.m. of 8th of February, the same day, human delivered. They were properly taken care of, taking, taking, uh, cleaned up and sent to the lining ward where the mother and the newborn baby were recuperating, inclusive of the, of the snuggled baby, uh, so to say. I let the uh, staff on duty to keep close surveillance over the mother and the baby. And then, of course, we let our security unit know that uh, the movement across the gate should be closely monitored in respect of that case. Um, eventually, she let her ask for discharge the same day, which we objected to. But since she insisted, it is normal to the shark blood request. Eventually, she will discharge on request. Of course, she paid her bills. What we were now waiting was for the husband. At this point in time, I had not called her or inquired of, of the baby in question, where it's coming from or something of that nature. I just uh, let the nurses and the security know that whenever the husband comes in to take them home, that uh, I should be informed because I want to have a chat with him. Eventually, the husband came in and uh, uh, the nurses informed him that the director will want to have a chat with him because before he takes his family home. He did come to my office. Sorry, Doctor, about what time? Um, that should be about um, 5 p.m. Husband came in to take the home, about 5 p.m. So he did come to my office and uh, I uh, congratulated him on the delivery of a, of a bouncing, beautiful baby girl. But I, I did ask him one, but I said, please, who owns the second baby? At the first question, he didn't seem to understand me very well. So he was talking of thank you for a 
good job done, we are about going home and whatever. I say yes, please, I, I, I still have one question I'm asking. So what did I say? Your wife is going home this evening. He said yes, he, said, he has come to take me home. I said fine. I say, you saw your baby? He said, fine. I say, I'm, I want to know who owns the second baby. He said, doctor, I don't understand what you're saying. But my wife will have to hear what you're telling me. He sort of wanted to, to rise up to call the wife. He said, no, don't bother. I, bet I press the bell and then uh, somebody came in and I said, please call me Mrs. Chidebera. The woman came into my office and sat down with the husband and three of us we were, you know, we went into a, a frank discussion. So I told the, the man, I said, doctor, please ask me this, this same question again. <laughs> of course, I did ask. And um, the man was always casting a glance at the wife. So the woman, as a matter of fact, gave us a lot of stories, which uh, would be too long to narrate, on how a baby came across her. The stories were not impressive. At the time, I told the husband, please, can you allow me to speak with your wife? Let me speak with her. After that, you come back to me. He left the office and left. We, I spoke to her, I said, Madam, the baby that is with you there cannot be your baby. You delivered this afternoon, and this is your birth, birth record. How you came in, how you delivered, and the sex of your baby. I said, that baby is not a baby. That all that we are interested in is, we want to return that baby to the parents. That somewhere, somewhere, somehow, somebody is agonizing and looking for her baby. I say it's important. I say there's nothing else, no other interest. At the end of the day, he came out with one beautiful story. That first and foremost, that the baby is the baby of a friend. A friend. That's the way she put it. I said, what kind of friend? He said she used to buy from her in the market. That last time she she went to buy, to, she went buying the market. But this woman said that her daughter delivered a fatherless child. And she does not know how to present that to her husband. It's terrible. She said, oh, she's interested. It's really when she was told that the baby is a boy. So it was that, it, it was the grandmother of the baby that brought this child early in the morning. I said, is that so? He said, yes. She sounded so convincingly. I said, OK. I didn't seem to have any more thing to say. I said, OK. Eventually, when the husband came back, I sat in there and said, look at what your wife said. But first and foremost, I will no longer discharge her to go home. She will remain in the hospital till tomorrow. Tomorrow. Myself, yourself, your wife, we shall go to go and get the grandmother of this child. The man agreed. The lady agreed. So, no stress. All mothers watching this program you are advised to be security conscious of your babies and don't give out your babies to strangers you don't know.